But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father, for he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good, and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. Loving the enemy is easy to say but really hard to do. Christ Jesus proved it when he bore his cross. Imperfect human love is not an ideal example. I think this starts with how we perceive who our enemy is. Often the hardest enemy is to love uh, the enemy within, the person close to us, our own brother or sister, our close friend. Do we still regard them as our brothers and sisters, or do we label them as our enemies? As Jesus said, that God the Father does not favor anyone. He continues to shower His love as concrete as the sun to the good and the bad, and rain to the righteous and the unrighteous. All of them are His beloved children. Learning to love like a perfect father is learning to keep accepting our enemies, in inverted commas, not as our enemies, but as brothers and sisters who are also children of God the Father, loved unconditionally. My personal experience is being loved by my parents who still considered me as a child, even though my behavior over the years did not reflect a child who deserved my parents' love. They learned to be patient with me, learned to accept me as I am, prayed for me for years, and remained willing to accompany me, who was not only far from perfect, but often became the enemy within, often hurting their hearts, disobedient and disappointing them. St. Paul said in his letter to the Corinthians that love is patient, kind, not jealous, not proud, and not arrogant. It does not do anything rude and does not seek its own benefit. Love is not angry and does not keep other people's faults. Love does not rejoice in injustice, but rejoices in the truth. Love covers all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Perhaps the journey of loving our enemy begins by realizing how much God has loved us. Here's a classic song, Love Story, which is now sang to God, who has been loving us unconditionally from the beginning of the creation. <laughs> 